Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Elizabeth and today I have a full body stretch for you. So we'll go ahead and get started in child's pose. All right, so coming down to our mat, big toes to touch, sinking your hips back towards your heels, knees wide to your mat and extend your arms out long in front of you. You can bring your forehead in contact with the mat. Forearms down on the mat. and just begin to take some deep breaths in through your nose. Open up, exhale, sigh it out. Another deep breath in through your nose. Open up, exhale, sigh it out. You might begin to feel your knees slightly sliding out a little bit as you go a little deeper through the fullness of your breath, and that is just fine. Another deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Awesome. Beginning to activate our Ujjayi Pranayama breath. This is our breath of fire, our breath of victory to heat us up from the inside out. So still in child's pose, deep breath in through your nose, seal your lips, and exhale back out through your nose. You wanna constrict the back of your throat so it feels like you're fogging up a mirror. Another deep breath in through your nose. And Ujjayi, exhale. Awesome. Now when you're ready, slowly rock up to tabletop, stacking your hips over your knees, shoulders over your wrists, and right now we're just going to begin to stretch our wrists and our fingers so we can just rock back and forth really gently. Flip your fingertips so they're facing your knees. You may need to bring your hands in a little closer to your knees. And right here, you may feel the stretch already and not need to um, add in any movement. If you do want a little bit more of an intense stretch on the backs of your wrists, you can slowly maybe begin to rock side to side. And it's sort of a, it's almost like you're making a small like, figure eight you're going up and then down and then up with your shoulders you can lead with your shoulder so it's not so much just side to side perfect flip your right hand to the top of your hand and you can rock side to side here but still be gentle with your wrists you don't want to injure your wrists. Awesome. And I always like to come down onto my fingers and then flip your palm back down and then top of the left hand down and rock side to side.
perfect. Come on up to those fingers, onto your knuckles, and that hand down. Wonderful. Center your left palm to the mat, and then we're just going to take some arm circles. Nice big arm circles. Going backwards, starting with your right arm. The more dramatic you make it, the better it's going to feel. Promise. Awesome, and let's go the other way. Perfect, bring that right hand down into the center and it's time for the left arm. So big arm circles going backwards. cat and cow postures. You're going to inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Spread your shoulder blades apart and exhale. To cat, dome your spine and drop the crown of your head. Inhale to cow. And exhale to cat. Another inhale to cow. One more inhale to cow. And exhale to cat. Awesome, finding a neutral spine. Begin to take just some turns and twists with your neck and your spine and your hips simultaneously. No rush. Go at your own pace. You can switch sides if you'd like. Perfect. And then finding that neutral spine, tuck your toes and come to sitting on your heels. Now, if you have a block or a blanket, this would be a good time to go ahead and tuck that under your um, bum, right in between your calves and your the backs of your thighs. And I'll show you how I do that with a blanket. Literally just a folded blanket. Tuck it under. Kind of helps fill that gap. Give a little bit more cushion. And we're gonna stretch our toes like this. Take a few breaths here. If it becomes intense, it's okay to just come up a little bit and rock back in it. If, it, if you feel any sharp pains though, always, always release. One more deep breath in here. And exhale. Awesome, you can remove that blanket if you took it. And then untuck your toes. Come to sitting on your heels and let that kind of just, you can wiggle your toes, let that marinate a little bit. <laughs> Perfect. Now what I like to do is scoop forward a little and I take a toe stretch if, again, if this is too intense, totally fine. But I'm gonna kinda use my core and my hands to push up onto my toes and just rock back and forth, coming back down to my knees, back up to my toes, down. And maybe just one more time. And then flip them the other way, come up 
to your toes in a small toe stand. And you can use your fingertips to steady you. Awesome. You can come back down to your hands and knees in tabletop. This time, curl your toes and send your hips up and back into downward facing dog. Now, you can most definitely bend your legs as needed. Just kind of fill your body out. Any of the kinks or tightness, just send some breath into that area. Awesome. And when you're ready, inhale, gaze forward, and exhale. Tiptoe your feet right behind your wrists. Take a generous bend in your knees. Rest your torso over your thighs. Grasp onto opposite elbows. Let your head hang down so low that you can look directly behind you in ragdoll pose. Maybe shake your head no, nod it yes. Maybe sway back and forth a little or side to side. Feel that release in your lower back, in your neck, no tension. Go ahead and swap your grip. And then slowly release your fingertips down to the mat. Heel toe your feet together, not to touch, but leave maybe about two fifths in between. Again, keep that bend in your knees. You can either plant your hand down onto the mat or just come up to your fingertips. And with those bends still, that bend still in your knee, inhale back to your chest, your right hand up, opening your chest to the ceiling as much as Very slowly, head coming absolutely last. And hands to heart center. Awesome. All right, you can go ahead. Kind of wiggle that out. You can drop your hands by your sides and take a few shoulder rolls. So inhale, shoulders up by your ears. Exhale, roll them down your back. And then inhale, up by your ears. Exhale, roll them down. Up by your ears, roll them down. Perfect, and let's do the other way. Coming forward. Perfect. And now, inhale, sweep your arms up to the ceiling, into Dasana. Now you want to ground down through all four corners of your feet, tuck your tailbone slightly under, engage your core, shoot the energy out through your fingertips and then slowly roll your 
your shoulder blades down your back so you're not bringing your arms up by your ears to your shoulders up by your ears more so. Roll them down and take a deep breath in. Exhale, drop your right hand down, hinge over to the right side. You can separate your feet out a little bit if it feels a little bit more steady. And you can gaze wherever is comfortable. I just like to gaze up, but you can most definitely gaze down if that feels better. And inhale back up in the center. Exhale, drop your left hand down. Center, inhale, exhale, drop the right hand down. And inhale back up in the center, drop the left hand. Back up in the center, goal post your arms and gently lift your chest up into cactus pose while slightly pressing your hips forward. It's not dropping your head back, but more so lifting your chest up, sending your hips forward. Deep breath in and exhale, dive it down forward. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Bend into cactus, lift your chest up, send hips forward, and inhale back up into dasana, exhale, forward fold, dive it down. Awesome, one more. Inhale, sweep your arms up, mountain pose, tadasana. Exhale, go pose those arms, inhale, lift your chest, and exhale, dive it down. Slowly, with your hands now down towards the mat, step back into Downward Facing Dog. Keeping your feet right where they are, just slowly send your hips to the right and to the left. Trying not to bend into your knees, so even if your heels are up, that's fine. your right leg high and exhale low lunge step it in between your hands dropping to your back knee you can grab a block here if you do have one and you can take it plant it right by your right foot all right adjust yourself so that the lunge is to your liking not too intense and then inhale sweep your arm up, your left arm up, sending your hips forward, your gaze backwards. And to exhale, bring it forward, planting your left hand. Inhale, sweep your left arm up, hips forward. And exhale, bring it back down. One more inhale. Remove the block, maybe just put it in front of you. Place your right hand on the inside of your right foot. Heel toe your right foot out to the edge of your mat. And you can stay planted up, actually. Stay pushed up and just kind of go on the edge of that right foot, letting your hip go out. You want to stay pressed up just to kind of support yourself. And again, if you have a block and you want to give yourself a little more leverage, you can come up to the block. I like to add a little movement as you see. And when you're ready, you can remove the block. Inhale, curl your left toe and exhale. 
Send your right foot back up into downward facing dog. You can wiggle your tail here. And then coming to a still downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. And exhale, low lunge. Step it in between your hands, dropping down to your back right knee. Taking your block again if you chose to, as a little bit of stability on the left side of your foot. Then, of course, once you adjust yourself, inhale, sweep your right arm up, sending your hips forward, gaze backwards. And exhale, bring it down. Inhale, sweep your right arm up. Exhale down. Inhale, sweep it up. And exhale down. Wonderful, you can remove the block, place it right in front of you. Place your left hand on the inner part of your left foot. Heel toe your left foot out to the edge of your mat. And again, come to the edge of your left foot, just rocking your hip, letting your knee go out. Then again, you can use your block here if you want a little bit more leverage. And I love adding movement. rather than just static holds. Slowly come to the top of your left foot. You can remove your block. Inhale, curl your right toe. Engage your, left, your right leg and send your left foot back to meet your right into downward facing dog. Slowly walk your feet in between your hands. Come to a seat, place your feet in front of you and stretch our shoulders. So just like you're laying out on the beach, <laughs> walk your hands behind you. Scoot your bum forward as you feel comfortable. I like to keep my feet flat on the mat just because it gives me more control. Some people will extend their feet all the way out but I feel like I have a little more control when I can place my feet down. Now you can either stay right here, feeling that stretch in your shoulders, or what I like to do is slowly walk my hands in until my pinkies touch. So just walk them out and then walk them a little bit closer in until my fingers touch. And you can keep your gaze forward. If you'd like, you can lean your head back. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can lean your head back if that feels comfortable to you. And just breathe here. If you need more of a stretch, just walk your fingertips out a little bit more. and slowly walk your fingertips out. Come down to your back. Just bring your arms over your head and let them relax for a moment. And while you're here, you can let your knees drop down over to the right side and then windshield wiper them over to the left, to the right, to the left. All right, now that you are down on your back, let's go ahead and bring your right ankle onto your left knee. Slowly draw your left knee up towards your chest. Thread your hands through that hole and then interlace your fingers. Hold onto your left knee and inhale, draw your left knee in close 
towards your chest, feeling that stretch in your hip. Don't forget to breathe. The more you breathe, the deeper you can feel the stretch. If you feel any pinching or pain like that, any sudden sharp pain, go ahead and gently release. And sometimes I like to rock side to side here, very subtly. Slowly release, bring your right foot down to the mat, left foot on your ankle, or left ankle on your right knee, namaste, and then draw your right knee up towards you, interlace your fingers, grasp onto your right knee, and deep breath in, exhale, pull your right knee in towards your chest. Here, that is fine as well. Awesome, slowly release. Bring both knees in, hug them nice and close. And then getting ready to rock up into a yogi squat. You can just rock here, one. Get into three, two, three. Press up, and you're gonna have, be standing on your feet. Scoot back so you can see me properly into a yogi squat, and actually maybe I'll face forward so you can see me even better. You wanna angle your feet out, slightly out, about hips width distance. And if this is not comfortable to you, you can take a block, if you have one, or a blanket, and just take a seat on the block. And that'll give some the mass between the floor and your bum. And you can place your hands together into a prayer pose to help encourage your elbows to push your knees out. You just breathe here. You wanna make sure you lift your chest that you're not arching over, but lifting your chest up. If you need a little bit more intensity, you can bring your fists together and then push them. And I do like to always add in a little movement as well. You can kind of lift up the arches of your feet here if that feels comfortable to you. And then slowly plant your hands down on the mat, press up through your legs and heel toe your feet out a little further than hip distance, getting ready for a forward fold. But first, you're gonna plant your left hand down in the middle of <clears throat> the mat and inhale, lift your right arm up high. Exhale, drop it down towards the inner left thigh. And of course, if you're not able to connect your hand to your inner left thigh, you can just pretend you are and just drop your, your right hand over towards your left thigh. Don't forget to breathe in it. Slowly release, bring your right hand down to the mat. Inhale, lift your left arm up high and exhale, twist it behind your back to drop to the top of your right thigh or connect it right on in 
to the inner part of your right thigh, pulling your chest and your gaze up towards the ceiling. Wonderful, slowly release. And with your hands planted, you can inhale, lift your chest up, coming up to your fingertips, and exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Walk your hands slowly towards the back of your mat. And drop your head down, trust that your toes and your feet will support you. Awesome. Slowly walk your hands over to your left ankle, left foot, whatever feels comfortable to you. If you can bring your right elbow down to the mat, that's fine. If you can't, that's fine as well. And you see my feet are sliding. I'm really engaging my legs. That's totally fine for them to slide in and out a little bit, or more so out. Don't forget to breathe here. Deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Slowly walk your hands over to the right foot, the right ankle. Slowly bring your hands back to center. Heel toe your feet in a, a little bit outside of uh, hips width distance, not as far as a wide legged forward fold. You're going to bring your heels slightly in, getting ready to kind of go into a sumo squat, but more so goddess pose. So keep your feet angled out, drop your hips down, lift your chest, hands up off the mat, and bring your hands to heart center. Sit nice and low, just kind of sway side to side. I know it probably burns a little bit. You just want to heat up those inner thighs. Make sure you tuck your tailbone under, lift your chest up. When you can cease movement, place your hands on your knees and you can support your, yourself with your hands kind of sink a little bit lower. up and down and while you're here if you can lift up your left toe try that really taking off some of that pressure though from your hands left heel down right toe up right foot down and then exhale hinge it forward into that wide-legged forward fold again awesome Slowly now, with your feet right where they are, pivot them forward, or sorry, towards the left, and then walk your right foot in, maybe just a little bit closer into pyramid pose on the left side. Now, you can keep your knees straight here. What you wanna do is, if you need to walk your foot in a little bit more, that's fine. Just find what feels comfortable for you in order to keep your feet in a straight line and your knees straight if possible. If you need to bend them a little, that's fine. Just wanna try and feel that stretch on the backs of your legs. And take a moment to breathe here, hinge forward, send your chest closer to the tops of your thighs.
chest onto your thigh or as close to your thigh as possible. <laughs> You want to keep your hips as square as possible, both even. All right. Step your left foot to meet your right foot and roll on up to standing. Hands on your waist, on your hips, kind of walk it out. Awesome, now if you have a yoga wheel, I kind of want to show you a little something that feels really great with the yoga wheel. If you don't, no problem. With a yoga wheel, more particularly, kind of helps roll your spine, really stretch your spine in your back, upper and lower. So I like to bring my yoga wheel down to my mat. Rest my back on it, feet flat on the floor, and then use my legs to push up and roll all the way back. You'll feel it in your lower back the further you go. And when you come back down, you feel it in your upper back. The key is to let your arms just go where they may. You don't want to force anything or hold it like this. Otherwise, there's just so much tension you can't feel the release. And I always take a good couple of rolls here. Awesome, you can take as many as you want, of course. But I just wanted to show you how I like to use my yoga wheel to stretch my spine. Of course, you can also you can use your yoga wheel to stretch your legs. I like to bring one leg down and one leg up onto the wheel and then reach forward to the wheel and use that as like an elevated calf stretch. You can reach all the way out or in. And then of course, switch legs. Now, grabbing your bolster if you have one. If not, a dense pillow works as well. I'm just going to move into a slightly restorative pose. So coming into um, frog, essentially, you're gonna bring your knees wide to the mat and not like baby, or um, child's pose, not baby pose, child's pose where your toes would actually be brought together. You're going to um, separate them, flex your toes out, You're going to separate them, flex your toes out, let your knees go out to the edges of your mat, maybe a little further. And because it's fairly intense, I'm gonna use the bolster. Oh, I can't lay down. <laughs> use the bolster to prop yourself up. Now, the only reason I can't lay all the way fully down is because I have this mic on, but you can, let me see, come down and when you're ready you can slowly place your hands on either side of the mat press your bolster out of the way bring your knees together come to sitting on your heels you can close your eyes here, rest your palms on your hands, and we'll just begin to take a few neck rolls, rolling your head forward very slowly and back and forward and backwards. Maybe the other way now. Wonderful. 
You can kick your feet out in front of you. If you have a yoga strap here, or a belt, or a rope, or anything of the sort, I'm going to use my Tumaz yoga strap. You can take your strap, create a loop with it, loop it right around your left foot, and keeping your right foot planted and your left leg straight, just slowly begin lifting your left leg directly up, keeping your hips square. Once you've reached your point of comfort, you can just breathe here. And slowly, with control, lower it down. Loop it onto your right foot. Slowly lift. And lower it down. Now if you'd like to try a boat pose with a strap, you can try this. I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out. But you can bring your feet up in towards you with the yoga strap. You can start maybe with your knees bent, then begin to straighten out your legs using your core, of course. Keeping your gaze in one spot. And slowly lower it down. Alrighty. Now, come to just a regular easy pose seat. You can also take your strap here, maybe fold it over. You're gonna have to play with the length, but stretching out our shoulders, maybe about this much length, you're going to hold the strap out in front of you, lift your shoulders up and over, and then bring it down. Hold up from the side. If you need a little bit more length, that's totally fine. Feels like I might need a little more length. So up and over. Up, over. And take a few more at your pace. Maybe one more. And one more up. And over. Perfect. Our last shoulder stretch that we'll do, we'll just check on time. Perfect. Last shoulder stretch that we'll do is taking any end of your yoga strap. Dropping the strap behind you, taking your left hand up and using it as a shoulder stretch in this way. You can slowly walk your hands in and as you get closer and closer, you might find that you can leave the strap altogether. Wherever you are, just breathe here. Open mouth, exhale. And release. Boop, boop, boop. All right. And take your left hand up and over. This strap is really long. I have a longer one for 
different reasons. So that's why I have so much extra slack. All right, take your right hand behind you, curl it behind your back, and you can hold it just right here, or drop so that you can feel it a little bit more. And wherever you are, deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Slowly release. Wonderful, you can put your strap aside. Come down to your mat on your back. Let your knees fall out wide and kiss the soles of your feet together. You can place your hands on your inner thighs if you'd like. And Supta Baddha Konasana, just take a deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, side out. And just let gravity do the work here. As you stay here, you'll find that gravity will begin to push your knees down, you'll feel it more in your hips. Well, more like inner groin, actually. Just give it a moment or two. And again, you can stay here as long as you like. This is a video, so you can pause it at any point in time. And when you're ready, take your hands on the backs of your thighs, close your legs together like a book. Extend your legs out long on the mat. Let your feet drop to the sides, hands down, palms up by your sides. And just take a few breaths here, moving into Shavasana, closing your eyes. Relaxing your shoulders down into the mat. Removing your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Parting your teeth, but leaving your lips sealed to relax your jaw. No tension in your face whatsoever. Relaxing your brows. accepting this moment of silence, these last few moments for yourself. And when you're ready, you can start with an inhale, deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, side out. Maybe slowly wiggle your fingertips and your toes. Maybe start with an inhale, full body stretch. And then rolling over to your favorite side in fetal pose, using your bicep as a pillow. Fetal pose represents rebirth from our mat into our daily lives. You can stay here as long as time permits, as long as you like. But if you are ready to move on with your day, you can slowly press up with your hand. 
keeping your eyes closed or with a soft gaze to your favorite seated position. You can place your palms <clears throat> down on your knees or up, whatever feels comfortable to you, but the yogi friend, the student and teacher in me honors and recognizes and appreciates so very much all the yogis, friends, students, and teachers, and all of you. You can bring your hands to your forehead to remind yourself of good, positive thoughts. Bringing your hands to your lips to remind yourself of kind words, not only to others, but even more importantly, what you say to yourself. And then to your heart to remind yourself to love openly and deeply as you are loved very deeply. And deep breath in through your nose, lift your chest up, open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. You can flutter your eyes open. Thank you so much, friends, again for joining me. I appreciate all the support and I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying these videos and if you have any comments, please leave them below. I read every single one and I believe I comment on every single one. So thank you so much for that. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.